Vishal and today we are in a session of Swift here uh, we are talking about what is a MVVM model today and uh, what's the difference between your MVC and MVVM so as we know what is the MVC model and uh, we have done <coughs> and uh, we have done many programmings and, and, and uh, use these models uh, in most of our applications so what is the drawback of this model and advantage of this model and why we use MVVM today so that be the uh, uh, that that be the lecture I'm giving to you and with some practicals so here uh, we have a MVC model and here in a MVC model we have a business layer what is a model just simply we know that it is a business logic and in which by which we can uh, uh, that means it, it this layer is responsible for the logic to the application and it manages the application state and also with the reading and writing the data and it may be even include the task related data management so these uh, we have to work under that model and if we are talking about in a small thing just in a swift why we use this the model is where your data resides and things like a persistence model objects networking card normally live there that means we can communicate with your JSONs and the web services or your database under that model and what is your view the view layer is the face of your app and means your user interfaces and it classes are typically reusable since there are not domain specific logic just we can say it in a simple language what be our UI label whatever UI text we have to just show to user that is your user interface simple and here we have a view logic with here so uh, if you're talking about that um, uh, controller that means we can say to the controller it is a mediator or uh, we can say it is a communicator between your model and a view sometimes and sometimes we have our view can communicate directly with the model it depends how we can make our programming but it's good if you take in a controller as in a mediator and uh, just we can interact with the controller to view and the controller to model that is in a simple but sometimes we take in uh, disadvantage to communicate with that models with a view but if we have a view and we have a model and we have a lot of data in which we have to uh, do something so where with this data we have to apply it just like in a model or in a view that means lot of code so what happens generally we can put this code under that controller and the controller becomes so heavy so we do not want to go with that approach here we have a very good approach we are talking about that is called here MVVM so before MVVM I am just again uh, describe you to the controller what happened with that the controller the controller mediates between the view and the model and the communicate between the view and the model typically where the delegation patterns in the idle scenario and the controller entity won't know the concrete view it's a dealing with that so uh, with it communicate with an abstractions where in the protocols lot of things so that is your we can like always be extends our UIB controller for that so the advantage of the MVC pattern in the clear separation of concerns that means each layer of MVC patterns is responsible for clearly defined and there is no confusion about what belongs in the view layer and what belongs in the model layer so that's with a good approach in but a clear separation that means if you were talking about that uh, the architecture of that it become our code easy projects are easier to archi uh, architect and the structure and but this is one side that means if you're talking about that a lot of code you can write on your controller but that's be not a good approach of MVVM so uh, 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 sorry uh, MV, MVC so we have to apply our next architecture that is called your MVVM and what is that it's your model view view model so we hide the controller because of the view we can uh, do all the things under the view model that means your uh, calculations your uh, logics under that of the view model it, it can responsible to communicate with the model and 
under the controller we can call this simple view model and then just show to the view what happened with that so it can the lot of code uh, be under your view model we can do by this approach so here we have a view view model and the model diagram so if you see that the we can receiving the data model updates model changes events that all be done by the model it can interact with your view model and that view model be interact with your view using that data so the ui event data changes events be under that okay uh, so view model responsible for the events i again talking about that change by the model model updations receiving data calculations and provided to the view using the controller so the work of controller becomes so easy now again i describe to you just uh, i go through the things what is the mvc and why don't use this mvc model so the mvc is your model view controllers the model is a business logics view just representation to the user and that controller that is the interaction between the view and the model approach and uh, here we can say the view layer have two important tasks that presenting data to the user and handling user interactions and the advantage is that the code is very well structured everything should be in a form of a view model and a controller approach but sometimes what happen that there will be the lot of code under the controller so uh, due to some logics some business logic some some uh, events so these kind of thing the logics be happen there and then uh, the controller become heavy controller on that case so that be the not a right way to choose that so we apply a mvvm very separation that is your model view view model and controller so we are not talking about the controller so we can uh, mvvm we can this approach is not uh, mvvm okay otherwise we can get mvvmc <laughs> okay so that's be your uh, mvvm approach now i am giving the example to that approach how we can interact with this so this is our view controller swift and uh, i'm making a new group that's be your model and here i'm making a one more group and that's be our model view so what happened just first we have to create the file that's be our new file and this is a swift file and uh, here i'm making a student class this is your student class and generally what happened everybody know that who are working with the swift just simply let name be your string and uh, let id be your int okay that's easy here we initialize the things so id is your int and then uh, name be your string and here we can say to self dot id is your id and self dot name is your name so easy okay and uh, here we have a model view and under the model view what we have to do we have also be create the uh, new file and that give the name file uh, file name to it's a student view model and create a class for that student view model and just take the same values be here as I'm giving this small example to you so what happened we just say in it make a object for the student and pass the values with your name 
is equals to this is your student dot name and uh, id is your student dot id so this is our simple student view model okay. so if you want to do something with this maybe we may do the other functionality and uh, uh, your methods be you can put it here uh, i will take it on another example to you uh, but here, uh, but here you can just simply see it, what happened with that student and what is the controller approach so what to do for that you just go for the main storyboard and I have to show something uh, so I am using the UI label and here this label be on center position and centralize be here okay and put the another level also give it to the center again okay so here uh, if you want to change the background then it's good yeah that's better okay so one is your uh, student ID and other for your student name so here just go for the outlets and this outlet is your student ID and uh, the second outlet be your student name very simple so when we using this approach here you can see the code of lines we do is everything should be if, if I want to communicate within a simple structure so what to do I'm uh, giving this a student and approach be here here just say let student view model be your uh, student view model and we can create a student object under that and just say student and here I have to pass the ID and just be the name that's your wish out and if you want to show it to the user what happened oh, miss the bracket so say student id dot text is equals to your student view model dot id it is in, in the form of integer so convert it into the string and the second UI label that is the student and this is your student your model dot name so it interact with here easily and when we call it to be 
Oh shit. I have to stop this task. I have to choose uh, five one. So because of it is on the running phase. Okay, so this is a very simple example of the student. How the student uh, first we have to create a student Swift, and here that we that be your model B. We can say it, and uh, we can interact with the getter setters to our database interactions and your student view model be here by which we can just put this class and can access the data and and your view controller what happen we just show to the user what happened with that our view model we call this view model here and then if you want to be the work with that student view model uh, functions be there so we can interact it easily okay let's see what happened your yeah, building success and uh, See the result what happened with that uh, then I'm come on the another example of uh, how we can do the calculations uh, under the view model it's taking time just let's see what happened yeah now it show to us what is an id and what is your name of the student so if you see that your id is 11 and name is vishal okay now i'm giving the example another example go for the model you can make your models all models be here under the your model package and this is your shift and if we go for the imply class what happened the class imply here we do some calculations of the pay of that uh, imply so say let name be of the imply be or in the form of a string let the basic pay in the form of a double let HRA in a form of double so just we have to calculate the total of the basic fee plus HRA be here and here I have an init and under that init I have to pass the name of that imply string basic pay double HRA double and self dot name is equals to self dot HRA is equals to self dot basic pay is equals to Okay, this is very simple. Now, if I'm using this the model view, so under the model view, what we have to do? This is your model view, and take a new file, that is your Swift file, and say imply model view, and say class imply model view. just take these variables because of in the basic example so i am taking this like that we have a different approach to um, just use the getter setters and the uh, other approaches we can find it but here in the first level programming you can see as it and here we have an object of the imply that's your imply 
have to just cast these values be under the name employee dot you can access the then name and your basic pay employee dot basic pay and the chari that's your employee dot chari and if you want to do some calculations like on the function calculate pay you no need to go for this calculate pay and, and uh, in your controller so that's the benefit of this you can do the things under here this is your total return the total and you can say it let total is equals to your basic pay plus HRA so this is the approach okay now uh, come on your uh, view controller so mm, okay do one thing hide this code let imply model view is your model view and here you can say it that's be your imply class and here you to pass the values be like on uh, your name we shall and your basic pay uh, what do you pass it first basic pay or yeah basic pay and then HRA so this is your basic pay and this is your 1200 and your HRA that's your 1400 and here because of uh, we have a text <coughs> outlets be old student so I'm just passing the values under that so yeah what it but it want to say that he's saying that you have to create the imply object for that okay so here you can say it, your imply model view dot name and here you just want to sh show to your imply model view dot calculate pay so now we have to run this example and see what happened Now it's become so easy we can just do everything and just pass the parameters in the controller and then see that what happened with it. So if you give uh, if you see that set of 1200 plus 1400 is the 2600 the calculations be your total pay and name the employee and we have a total salary be this. So likewise that you can do the approach of MVVM and uh, on my next tutorials I will describe you the more uh, examples that be the bigger than this so this is your simple practice examples how we can start our MVVA so thank you so much guys uh, thank you so much